Hey there, everybody. Chris Renshaw here from Obsessive Comics Disorder. Got another uh, magic review for you guys. This time it's the Commander Decks. That's right, if I can get it out of the glare. Uh, Commander Decks, new decks that have come out from Magic the Gathering. Uh, there are five new Commander Decks, one based in each color, although I think they're three color decks, but each one's different. Has a different little color on here. So I heard about it and. Uh, went and picked Chloe and I each up one. So here I'm going to be talking about the red looking one. This is the Power Hungry deck. Black, red, green. And what Commander is, if you don't know, it is a separate type of magic. It's commonly I've heard to as a more social type of magic in which you have 100 card decks, uh, w only one copy of each card. So you, like in normal magic, you can have up to four copies of a card. This, you only have one copy of each card, 100 card deck, and each one has a commander, which is a legendary creature. You keep down in this area called a command area. You cast it like a normal creature, and it plays like a normal creature. When it dies, it goes back to the command area, and then you can cast it again for two more mana each time. So if it dies again, then it's another two mana on top of the two you already played. Uh, very different style of play. I've never played it before, so I still have yet to try that out so i'm curious how it plays but uh i've seen it played a whole bunch at our local gaming store and uh mainly in big groups i've seen up to like four or six people playing so really really curious to try it out um see it and see how it looks but i thought i would do the unboxing of the deck right here in front of you guys so you could see live so you see nice new camera setup should have moved this ahead of time All right, here, let's. All right, so nice big, very big packaging compared to like the size of my hand. Where's more deck? Most decks come in size like that. You see one of the oversized cards here on the front. This says Prosh Sky Raider of Kerr. So uh, let's open it up, shall we? Okay, how do I do this? There we go. Ah. All right. So we've got oversized card here. This is the one of the commanders that I was talking about. Prosh. It's a 5-5 five, five flying legendary creature dragon. When you, ca Ugh. When you cast Prosh, put X... Zero one red cobalt creature tokens named Cobalts of Kerr Keep onto the battlefield where X is the amount of mana spent to cast it. Sacrifice another creature. Prosh gets plus one plus zero to end of turn. So as this one dies, it's going to come into play next time with even more cobalt creatures. So uh, looks like we also get this nice little deck box. I'm glad it came with this considering I need something. I don't have something that could carry commander decks and these big cards and I'm hoping that's what why they did this, but it's a power hungry, pretty well constructed for a for a deck box. Ah, we see we got the other two commander cards right here. Uh, Shatter Gang Brothers. And we'll flip back to this camera here so you can see it a little better. Shatter Gang Brothers and Sequar Deathkeeper, right here. These are these three cards are your commanders in this set. So what do they do? Uh, Sequar is a four three. Whenever whenever another non creature you control dies, put a three one black and red graveborn creature token with haste onto the battlefield. And Shatter Gang Brothers, I kind of like this one. Three three. Uh, you pay two and a black, sacrifice a creature, each other player sacrifice a creature, two red, sacrifice an artifact, each other player sacrifice an artifact, two green, each other player sacrifice an enchantment, each other player sacrifice an enchantment, which if you happen to play against people with uh, 
enchantment heavy decks, this card could be well, uh, if, if you're playing with cards that have uh, people that have a lot of Theros cards in their deck, then I could see that where the brothers would definitely be helpful. But back to the board. So also down in here, the nice thick commander deck, which, oh, that's interesting. So, oh, there we go. There's a pull tab. So, that's interesting. You actually have the card for Prosh Skylander of Kerr here in the deck as well. I wonder what the rest of these are. And then, whole bunch of cards. Now, some of these are reprints. Oh, there's the Shatter Gang Brothers. And some of these are, there's the other one. And some of these are brand new cards. Uh, be curious to see which ones are which, but I don't know if I can tell from this. I do know that Soul Ring right there. That's a uh, older card because I've heard people talk about it. I know some of these Obelisk are. I've seen them before. A lot some curses. I think those are Innistrad. And let's see. A lot of cards. I'm going to have fun trying this out. So I guess... This, oh, and here we go, uh, custom lands. Or not custom, but like non-basic lands. But I'm not seeing any, oh, there we go. There's your basic lands, swamps, mountains, and forests. A lot of lands in this deck. A lot of lands, but then it's 100 creatures, so I guess you would need a lot of lands. So, and then we've got pamphlets. So I guess you can... It comes with the large cards and the small cards of each of these creatures. So I guess you could pick one as your commander, and then you've still got the other ones in case you want to use them. In that case, I think you would want to go with uh, Prosh, as he's going to get more powerful every time that you cast him. I wonder if you have to take him out if you play him in there. It's curious. I guess you just can't play both at the same time. All right, so what's this first one? First thing we have here is how to play. Uh, we've seen this before. Nothing. This is your generic. This is how you play magic. I don't think this is specific, though, to commander, though. I think this is just how you play magic. So there's that. Then I think this is commander-specific. Oh, wow. Look at that. So here... This is everything you need to know about playing commander, building a commander deck, using your commander, setup, uh, playing the deck, how to play it, and then there's all the creatures, the all the the cards. Oh, here we go, new cards for this release. They have a asterisk by them, so Prosh is a new card, and then they have little asterisk on here by all the new cards. So that'll be cool. That's an easy way to keep track of what the new cards are. I'm glad they did that because curi I was curious. I didn't really want to have to look it up. It looks like the Shatter Gang Brothers are also a uh, new card. Does that mean the Sek... Uh, whatever his name is? Let's see. No, it looks like he is a reprint card. Yeah. All right. So there you go. That's this. It shows you everything for this deck. Unlike some of the intro decks, it does not show uh, some of. It does not show everything else. It only show all the other five or the four decks. It only shows this deck. So there you have it. That's the commander deck, the power hungry commander deck. Um, I can't tell you much more about it because I have not had a chance to play it, but sure enough, you will definitely hear about it. If not on this YouTube channel, then you will definitely hear my thoughts about it on Boards and Swords, my tabletop gaming podcast, which you can find at boardsandswords.com. So thank you guys for watching this video. You can find other great stuff at my website, ocdcast.com. You can follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash christhaprof. Email me feedback at ocdcast.com. Comment down here below if you've played with these decks before and if you have any tips. I've never played Commander, so if you've got any tips on how 
Uh, I could play better on my first time. Things to miss uh, or things not to do on your first game. I'd greatly appreciate that. But in the meantime, have fun gaming, guys, and I will see you next time.